everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm here with another review and today i will be reviewing the garnier fruit teas curl nourish line i have the shampoo i have the conditioner and i also have the buttercream leave-in so yes this review <laughs> This review has been highly requested and um, I also wanted to wait myself a while because I wanted to use these products enough and before I give a review because you know I don't want y'all to think I'm just pushing stuff and not really using it. So bear with me, sorry that it took a few, uh, took a while but I just wanted to use it for the whole month of August and get my thorough review. So Garnier Fruities has came out with a curly lime for us, um, it's the sh it is a sulfate-free line. This is the first sulfate-free product that they have came out recently. So this is kind of like a big thing for them. And I've seen a few reviews from Lipstick and Curls and Naturally Me See and a few other um, YouTubers use this line. And so I was like, well, okay, if they like it, then I'm gonna try it. So um, what I love about this first, um, the packaging. It's bright, it's orange, it's it's really, really nice packaging. It catches your eye. I don't know, I just like the color. What's this, like a burnt orange or something? I really, really like that. Another thing I love about this is that it's on the ground pretty much everywhere. I could find this in my grocery store, I could find this in CVS, I could find this in Target, I could find this pretty much anywhere. So if I was traveling or flying for an event, and um, TSA or someone throw it out my bag. I really wouldn't be worried about trying to figure out what to do with my hair because I know I could just run to a quick drugstore and quickly pick this up. So like I said, um, I, I have, like I said, the shampoo, the conditioner, and the buttercream leave-in. So first I'm going to jump, well first the price point. These aren't really expensive at all. You can catch them on a sale for like $2 I've seen one time. And I think they're between four and six dollars just depending on location. I bought these by my job, so they were kind of a bit pricey because I do work downtown in DC and shit is always like that expensive anyway. Like Chipotle, Chipotle is just expensive downtown. But anyway, so this is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo Triple Nutrition Curl Nurse Sulfate Free Shampoo. So yes, um it has coconut, um, jojoba, and macadamia oils, and natural glycerin. And this is for dry, curly hair. It's supposed to richly nourish for stronger, more defined, frizz-resistant curls. And um, like it says on the bottle, this is their first sulfate-free hair care system. And um, it gives a little lather to gently clean your curls. So that's what I really, really do love about this. It is sulfate free, but typically sulfates don't really bother me because um, I clarify my hair often. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Sulfates don't really bother me. So if I was to use a sulfate shampoo, I would be okay with that because that really, that's really gonna clean everything, like a clarifying shampoo. So I wasn't really worried about it being a sulfate anyway. So like I said, this is sulfate free. And ingredient wise, it's not the most pleasant. It doesn't have the most pleasant ingredients. It does have silicones. So like I said, if you're ingredient conscious, then maybe this isn't the line for you. I personally don't mind. It just, you know, it is whatever. So as far as reviews, um, I've used this, I've used this a few times. I only walk, I only shampoo my hair once a week. So I've only really used this shampoo four times out of the whole month of August. Um, the shampoo, it does lather. Um, as far as like cleaning my hair, I had to shampoo twice. So, I mean, it's like an average shampoo for me. It just, it smells really, really good. Like, I the consistency wise, it's white, it's creamy. I don't want to squeeze it because I'm not gonna to put it back in the bottle. But um, I don't know, it was just like a regular shampoo for me. Like the most I could give is that it did clean my hair and it smells like, it smells really, really good and it lingered. And that's really all I can really say about the shampoo. It's just shampoos are just shampoos for me, unless it's like a really bad one, but this one isn't bad. I would definitely take this like if I'm traveling somewhere or just 
if I just want to shampoo mid week and I don't want to use my more expensive cleansers, and then I'll just use this. So that's that. Next, I have the conditioner, and y'all, um, I have like this much conditioner left, so I'm halfway through the bottle. Um, I love this conditioner. And I'm gonna tell you why. For one, it smells amazing. Um, another is that it has a lot of slip, and I know that's because of the silicone, so I already know what I'm dealing with, but it had nice slip. It, you know, I was able to detangle, I was able to, you know, condition my hair, and it just felt so good. And then when I rinsed it out with cool water, my hair felt so soft. You know, my curls were defined, they were popping, and it was just, amazing so I would definitely pick this up before I pick up the shampoo and I'm gonna have the shampoo probably forever because I have a ton in my stash that y'all and y'all haven't seen my stash video but yes this shampoo is really really nice I hope they do make this in a bigger bottle but I would definitely repurchase this um it's just I don't know, I love it, and I'm gonna put it back in my shower after this video, so finish it. So lastly, I have the Triple Nourish, Curl Nourish, Triple Nutrition, Curl Nourish, Buttercream Leave-In Conditioner. And this was really, really nice. Um, I know I can't use this on its own, because if I use it on its own, my hair will be a, a, a hot, frizzy mess and I need some gel to put on top of this. If you did not watch my Camille Rose Curl Maker video, like the gel of the month of August, I said that those two products um, paired well together. I got about like a three day wash and go, and this is amazing. For this to be an on the ground, cheap conditioner under like $6, this pretty much did the trick. This defined my curls on its own, but the hold is so soft and kind of non-existent, but that didn't really bother me. It's just, oh, I'm obsessed with it. Um, I would definitely purchase this. This is probably one of my favorite on the ground leave-in conditioners under $10, so yeah. Um, ton of slip, it just smells so, it just smells so good. And I can't even describe what it smells like. Like it's sweet. I know it's a nice sweet undertone. I can't I can't pinpoint to what it can smell what it will smell like to me. But um, it's probably the macadamia. I don't know what it is, but it just smells really, really good. So I was Okay. All in all, I was really impressed with this line. Garnier did a really good job. Mm. These are repurchases except for the shampoo because like I said, I have other shampoos that I kind of like better and it was just okay for me. But as far as the conditioner and the leave-in, y'all need to try it, you know, if you're not ingredient conscious or even if you are, don't knock until you try it. Um, like I said, they can be found at CVS, they can be found at Walgreens, they can be found at Giant, Safeway, Target. These can be found pretty much everywhere, so definitely go out and buy them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section if you tried these leave-ins, because I'm always curious to what you all try and what you like. So let's help each other out. So like I said, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all in another video.